I'm Devin Madsen, a real estate loan officer with Collins Community Credit Union and chair of the Iowa City Area HBA Home Show. Thank you for joining us this morning to preview the Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show Week, February 22nd through 28th, sponsored by Collins Community Credit Union and Leppett Krieger Realtors. The Home Show is the Iowa City Area's largest show promoting new construction, remodeling, and home improvement. In a typical year, the Coralville Marriott is packed with over 100 different businesses looking to connect with you. This year, because of COVID-19, we made the decision to go 100% virtual for everyone's safety. You can still find everything for your home in one central location, from mortgage lenders and real estate agents to home builders and remodelers on the new interactive ichomeshow.com website. Our show features advice from professionals, thousands of dollars worth of prizes given away daily, the newest products and services for the home and more. So sit back, relax, and take a peek at what to expect this week when you enjoy the Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show from your home. Hi, I'm Jeff Dill with Lepi Krager Realtors and welcome to the 2021 Virtual Home Show. And I'm Rich Hatch, the newest partner here at LKR. I'm Terry Larson. And I'm Mike Jensen. And on behalf of the Greater Iowa City Home Builders Association, we'd like to welcome you to the show. Every aspect of the home, from roof to foundation, and everything in between will be on virtual display. Lepi Krager Realtors is honored to have served the Greater Iowa City community since 1972. And we're pleased to co-sponsor this event with the Collins Community Credit. We really look forward to next year when we can all be back together in person, but until then, this year you can let your fingers do the walking. Thank, Thank you. you. If someone is considering building a new home, what should they know about the construction financing process? Financing the construction of a home requires a different type of mortgage than the type used when purchasing a new or existing home. A construction loan is a short-term loan used to fund the actual construction of your new home. During construction, you make interest-only payments to the lender on the outstanding balance of the loan until the home is complete. Once construction is finished, the loan can then be refinanced into a long-term conventional mortgage. At Collins Community Credit Union, our construction loans feature an extended rate lock option which allows borrowers to lock in their long-term mortgage during construction, protecting them from rising interest rates. What advice do you have for our viewers who might be looking to finance a big home remodeling project? Is a home equity loan the best option? Connecting with a mortgage lender such as myself to discuss your short and long-term financial goals is always the best place to start. With safety in mind, this can easily be done in person, over the phone, via Zoom, or email. Everyone's financial situation is unique, so having this type of discussion up front will assist you and your lender in determining whether a home equity loan or a cash out refinance is the best fit. If someone is planning to stay in their current home and hasn't refinanced in the last couple of years, should they consider doing so? Refinancing means paying off an existing loan and replacing it with a new one. A few reasons a homeowner might want to consider refinancing include shortening the term of their mortgage, moving from an adjustable rate to a fixed interest rate, and using the equity they've built in their home to finance a large purchase. But, in my experience, the most common reason for refinancing is to move to a lower interest rate. A one or 2% drop in your interest rate can make a big difference in your monthly budget and ability to pay off your loan faster. If you've been kicking around the idea of refinancing your current mortgage, now is a great time to take advantage of historically low interest rates. How do I apply for a mortgage? Prior to applying for a mortgage loan, I suggest doing a little research to determine which lender might be the best fit for you. It's also important to remember that the interest rates that you see on a lender's website may not be the interest rate you qualify for. Talking to a mortgage loan officer early in the process will give you a better understanding of the types of loans available and the basic requirements for approval. Even if you don't have a solid history of loan repayment or you've had a few problems in the past, you still may be able to get approved for a loan. After discussing any concerns with your lender, 
you'll then want to submit a mortgage application. This can often be done online or over the phone. Once your loan application has been received, the loan officer will review your application and determine if you qualify for the loan. Welcome to the 2021 virtual Iowa City Home Show. McCready Ruth Construction has over 75 years of combined experience in the home building and remodeling industry. In addition to years of knowledge, our team of designers and draftspeople will help you create your new home and ensure your vision becomes reality. We take pride in employing our own teams that work on and oversee all aspects of the building process to ensure every project meets our high standards and excels in quality. Our craftsmanship shines through in the details. Unlike most home builders, we have our own finishing and woodworking teams that can handcraft elements to create a space that reflects your unique personality. Whether your project is large or small, you'll be glad you chose McCready Ruth Construction. Now that you know more about us, let's get started on that project of your dreams. Hi, I'm Terry Larson, and this is Mike Jensen. We are realtors and brokers and partners at Levy Credit Realtors of Iowa City. Thanks for joining us today. What's the difference between assessed value, appraised value, and market value of a home? So the assessed value is the value that the city or the county assessor uh, puts on the house, and that's what you pay your property taxes on. The appraised value is part usually of the lending process. So when you apply for a mortgage, Part of that application process will be that they will hire an appraiser to come to the house. Market value is what a willing buyer and seller would come to terms on, what, what the market price of a home is. Is there an advantage to working with more than one realtor at a time? You want to select an agent based on referrals, based on uh, previous experience, and they can help you through getting a pre-approval, uh, take you basically from uh, starting to look at homes all the way to the closing process. If you think you're going to get different information between one realtor to another realtor, you really aren't. If there's somebody that you're not trusting is giving you the full picture or what you think is the full picture, then you probably should just get a different realtor. But you're really ahead if you just work with one person at a time because then that person will have your best interest at heart and take care of your needs the best. What questions should I ask an agent? when looking for a realtor. You might want to ask the agent that you're interviewing um, how long they've been in the business, for example. Um, do they represent both buyers and sellers? Another thing is, will you be working with me individually as a client or will you be working with me as part of a team? If there are multiple offers on a property, how is this handled? One thing that we have to do as licensed real estate agents, we must present all offers. So sometimes people think, well, my offer was never presented. No, every offer is presented. And what we have people do, say you have five offers, you can only sell the house once. The other four offers, we have the sellers will initial the purchase agreement as proof that that purchase agreement was presented to the seller. How is the Iowa City area market? Nationwide, we're hearing there is an inventory shortage. And we are seeing that a little bit in some price ranges and it makes it difficult when you're trying to buy a home and there's just not that much selection. One comes on and everybody's just waiting for that house to come on and that is when the frenzy starts. So getting pre-approved and doing those kinds of things as a buyer, that's where that's paramount because when that offer is submitted, likely your realtor will submit your pre-approval letter for consideration showing that you are a serious buyer and you've done what you need to do. It's been good in the last few years. Rates are really low and as Terry mentioned, inventory nationwide and it's no different here uh, is lower and uh, so there is a, a high demand and a little bit lower supply. So thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we love real estate. We're very passionate about it. We have fun along the way and hope that you enjoy the home that you're living in. Yeah, thanks for listening and uh, enjoy the virtual home show this year. And hopefully next year we'll get back to being able to do it in person. But we sure hope you enjoy the uh, virtual home show this year. Thanks again for your time. Take care. 
Hello, I'm Jenny Wonderlick with Studio H2O in Iowa City, and I'm the fourth generation of my family's business. And I am so excited to just give you a little teaser about our showroom here on the virtual home show. And we would love for you to reach out to us to set an appointment to experience products here in our showroom. We have a lot of working items such as working shower heads and hand showers. And we just want the experience overall for your remodel, a new build, and even just picking a new faucet to be a wonderful experience. So watch for our videos this week as we post different ones on our social media and head over to the Home Show link to watch more great videos. Hello, I'm GT Carr, owner of Supel Siding and Remodeling and the president of the Greater Iowa City Area Home Builders Association. Our business is one of the featured exhibitors this week, as well as sponsor of the Kids Raffle. We're holding a coloring contest and you can find the coloring page in the Home Show magazine distributed through the Gazette today, as well as placed in several area HBA member businesses around town this week. You can also print out the coloring page when you go to the virtual home show website, ichomeshow.com, February 22nd through the 28th. Kids 18 and under can participate by coloring the page and posting a picture of it on social media using the hashtag ICHBA Home Show. If you're posting to Facebook, be sure to tag the home show's page at IC Area HBA Home Show. We'll choose one winner at the end of the week to receive a neon blue and red Nintendo Switch with a 64 gigabyte micro SD card and a 12 month individual online membership. I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures, so please join me at ichomeshow.com tomorrow through next Sunday for the Iowa City Area HVA Virtual Home Show Week. When it comes to updating your home and you're interviewing contractors, what should you ask? What should you know about their materials and craftsmanship? How long have they been in business? Do you know who's coming into your home to do the work? Are they a local company with a showroom to make your selections? Hometown Restyling is a team of over 60 dedicated employees who put you, the customer, first. Which is why everything we do is done by our people to our high standards. We offer a lifetime product warranty and a lifetime labor warranty. So if you need anything at all, you call us, we'll take care of you. When our craftsmen put that sign in your yard, your home will be treated as if it was theirs. Bottom line, do your research. Who you choose makes all the difference. We are Hometown Restyling, your trusted company. How do you hire a remodeler contractor? A good place to start is to ask around, ask for references, reach out to your local home builders association, see if they have a remodelers council and they can give you recommendations. Um, then you'll get qualified people that are professionals and do it for a living. I think that's the first place to start. Then once you get a list of people that you'd like to sit down and talk to about your project, um, make, make the effort and the time to meet with them. Find out if the work that you want to do is, is in their scope of work and what they specialize in. If you don't have a defined scope, it's really difficult to figure out uh, what budget is and, and what work the contractor is doing for you and what work you're going to have to take care of on your own. So, you know, taking the time to, to go through the process and define the scope is pretty important. And then just walk through the process with whomever you're going to hire. Um, I always tell people even the best project is, is kind of messy and stressful. So make sure you choose somebody that you're comfortable with to go through that process um, so, you, so you're happy at the end of it. What can people expect from their remodeler during the times of COVID-19? During the, the pandemic, the process has changed a little bit. It takes a little bit longer. Uh, we start with them signing a waiver um, just to kind of reemphasize that, hey, we're going to be taking precautions and these are the expectations we have for you as a homeowner. Things like staying out of the work area, things like masking up when you interact with our employees. Um, and, and just kind of respecting the process. We're trying to minimize the interactions and not have trade overlaps. So we're gonna get it set up so the electrician can come one day and nobody else is gonna be there. The plumber can follow up. Um, and again, that's not necessarily ideal, but it's, it's a safe way for our customers to have us in the home, it's safe for our employees, and it's just a little bit longer process, but, but it's worked out uh, fairly well so far. And I think the other big expectation uh, during COVID, and, and most of our people listening probably know this, but um, 
it's going to take longer to get supplies. Um, and when we think something's coming in, it may say that, it may say that, and it may be two months before we see it, and then something else will show up in two weeks. So um, again, back back to patience and, and just kind of understanding that we're we're all dealing with this way, and, and I think safety is the most important thing. What is the biggest hurdle before starting a remodeling project? Tempering your expectations a little bit um, from a time frame standpoint, especially during a pandemic. To me, that really is the biggest hurdle is making sure you start the process early enough that you have ample time to plan all the way through, dot the I's, cross the T's, and have everything finalized or as much as possible before you start the project. What are common mistakes homeowners make before or during a remodel? Clients think they can do half the work themselves or perhaps have, um, you know, some, some ideas of their own that they're going to take care of this phase and we'll do that phase. In theory, it seems to work out really well, um, but, but long term, I think as much as you can find a, the people that are professionals and do it for a living, I think that will uh, pay dividends all the way through the process. I think you'll get a better product. Um, I think 90% of the time you'll end up saving money um, and it will be done in, in a faster manner. I appreciate uh, everybody uh, tuning in as I'm hanging out in my basement here today. Um, and I look forward to seeing everybody at the home show this week. Hello, I'm GT Carr, owner of Supel Siding and Remodeling and current president of the Greater Iowa City Area Home Builders Association. Supels has been remodeling homes in the Iowa City area for over 25 years and is excited to be participating in our 12th consecutive Iowa City Area HBA Home Show. Our employees have over 100 years of combined experience in remodeling and take pride in delivering quality craftsmanship and an enjoyable experience from the initial phone call to the final walkthrough. This year, instead of meeting with you in person at the home show, we have decided to move the conversation to Zoom. We will be scheduling 15 minute virtual conversations on Friday, February 26th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, February 27th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Sunday, February 29th from noon to 2 p.m. Feel free to contact our office at 319-337-2246 before or during these times to schedule your appointment. It will be made on a first come first serve basis. I know that this is not the same as walking to the home show floor and getting ideas, but we hope this virtual conversation will be a useful tool for you to start your remodeling journey. Thank you. ready to buy or build a new home? First things first, take the time to get pre-approved for a mortgage. It's a crucial step in the home buying process. It should be among the very first steps you take. A pre-approval gives you an idea of how much you can borrow for your mortgage. It lets sellers and realtors know you have the borrowing power to back up an offer you make to buy the home you want. Financing the construction of a home requires a different type of mortgage than the type used when purchasing a new or older home. A construction loan is a short-term loan, and you can use this to fund the construction of your new home. During construction, you make interest-only payments to Collins on the outstanding balance of the loan until your home is complete. At Collins Community Credit Union, our construction loans feature an extended rate lock option, which allows borrowers to lock in their long-term mortgage during construction, protecting them from rising interest rates. Ready? Let's get moving.
I'm Kim Miller with Illuminate Kitchens by Design in North Liberty. We are so excited that the new styles of lighting fixtures for 2021 have started to come in. Please stop by and let us show you what's new. Hi, I'm Barbara Messer with Kitchens by Design and Illuminate in Iowa City. Our experienced designers look forward to your remodel or new construction project for inspiration and consultation. Please stop by and let us show you what we have to offer. Thank you for attending the Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show. We welcome you to visit our showrooms in Iowa City or North Liberty. We are open and following guidelines for your safety. You mentioned this video and we will extend 10% off retail on any new projects. Let us help make your home your happy place for 2021. Hi, I'm Carol Bonesack, Executive Officer of the Greater Iowa City Area Home Builders Association. The Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show Week promises to be a great experience for everyone with plenty of reasons for you to return to the website ichomeshow.com every day. Don't miss the opportunity to check out this time-honored event where you can see and compare products for inside and outside your home from local professionals. Our exhibitors will be sharing their insight on the expert advice page Plus, our Remodelers Council members will provide information on a new topic every day, and you can email questions. Don't forget to sign up for the daily contests. Some of the items being given away are a custom-made cutting board, an Iowa Hawkeye gift basket, and a reverse osmosis drinking water system valued at almost $1,000. There will be two $500 vouchers, good at any Iowa City Area HBA member business, given away this week courtesy of Collins Community Credit Union, and Leppet Kreger Realtors. After the Home Show week is done, you can still go back to the website, ichomeshow.com, all year to find what you're looking for to buy, build, and remodel your home. Why hire an HBA member? Members of the Greater Iowa City Area Home Builders Association have gone through a vetting process. They've had to submit an application, provide references, proof of Certificate of Liability Insurance, and then be approved by our Board of Directors. So when you go to our website, iowacityhomes.com, and go to the member directory, you can be assured that you're hiring trusted local professionals. How can I attend the virtual home show? Go to ichomeshow.com from the comfort of your home whenever it's convenient for you. Put on your favorite comfy slippers, grab a cup of coffee, Go to ichomeshow.com and pull up the list of exhibitors that'll be telling you about their business, sign up for the daily contests, get expert advice from our members and exhibitors at ichomeshow.com. What types of exhibitors will be in the home show? We have several different types of exhibitors that will be at the Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show, from realtors, bankers, flooring, water experts, uh, just about everything that you're looking for to build, remodel, or update your home, you can find it all at the Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show on ichomeshow.com. Reasons to tune in every day. So every day, you'll want to log in to the Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show at ichomeshow.com because every day there will be new contests that you can sign up for, register to win. There will also be expert advice from our members of our Remodelers Council, as well as the exhibitors. Bachmeyer Carpet One Floor and Home has been serving the corridor area for 23 years and is a second generation family owned business. Our Coralville location is one of the area's largest flooring showrooms. Stop by our showroom to check out samples of hardwood, carpet, tile, luxury vinyl, and other flooring, as well as window treatments. Bachmeyer Carpet One is kicking 2020 out the door. Save up 21% off select products from Casabella Luxury Vinyl, Casabella and Inner Ceramic Tile, Shaw's Tigressa Carpet, and window treatments from Graber. Stop in or ask about a virtual tour now through February 28th to take advantage of these and other great savings. Bachmeyer Carpet One, 3402 Merchant Street, across from Tyson's in Coralville. Check us out at BachmeyerCarpet1.com and on Facebook. 
Bachmeyer Carpet One is a mask of wellness participant. Your wellness is our priority. 12-month interest refinancing available with approved credit. Hello, welcome to Home Improvement Innovations. My name is Jason Beard, and you are here at our home office in Muscatine, Iowa. We are a full service remodeling company. And as you can see where we're standing in, we enjoy doing sunrooms, room additions, kitchen remodels, bathroom remodels, window replacements, and any other thing you can think of when it comes to remodeling your personal home. Um, we are located, like I said before, at Muscatine, and we service all the surrounding areas and cities around Muscatine. So, if you have a thought, if you have an idea, if you have a project in mind, please allow us the opportunity to make it a reality. You can visit our website at hiinnovationsinc.com or just give me a call here at 563-263-9128. Hi there, thanks for coming to the Virtual Home Show, folks. I'm Art Floss, Market President with CBI Bank & Trust in Johnson County. CBI Bank & Trust is a Iowa-based, family-owned community bank. We've got 16 locations in Eastern Iowa and Western Illinois. The next three people that are gonna be on this video with me are gonna tell you a little bit about what we can do for you financially when it comes to building your new home or financing your business. Hello, I'm Eric Olson. I'm a mortgage loan officer with CBI Bank & Trust. We offer a full range of mortgage financing options, including fixed rate, construction loans, and in-house loans. Hi, I'm Zach Kenyon, Assistant Vice President, Commercial Loan Officer at CBI Bank & Trust. If you're a builder, tradesperson, or any other type of business owner, please consider us for your financing or banking needs. Hi, I'm Todd Davenport. Mortgage Loan Officer here at CBI Bank & Trust. Here at CBI, we can help you with your purchases, your refinances, your construction loans. So if you are interested, please come in and talk to your friends. From all of us at CBI Bank & Trust, thanks for coming to the show, and we hope to see you in person next year. I hope this preview of the Iowa City Area HBA Virtual Home Show has been helpful. Feel free to email or call the HBA office with questions and I look forward to seeing you in person at the home show in February of 2022.